Welcome to this virtual tour where we will visit Arla Foods, Brokersbro Dairy in the western part of Denmark. The plant aims to be an energy efficient dairy facility, producing climate friendly and sustainable cheese, more specifically mozzarella. Welcome to Arla Foods Brokersbro. We are a dairy based in Denmark producing 80,000 tons of mozzarella a year. Amongst our obligations, of course, we have to serve good mozzarella to our customers, but we are also obliged to uh, look into uh, water usage and energy usage as part of our green ambitions. Here the team is conducting an energy audit. When you want to decrease your resource and energy consumption, it is important you have an overview of the entire production flow, energy and temperature demands. This gives you a good understanding of where and how the energy is used. Mia will now explain how she performs an energy review. When I do an energy review at a dairy, I start with the milk intake and go through the production lines to the cheesery and the product outtake in the back. Throughout the dairy, I look upon the different cooling and heating demands. Uh, after going through the dairy, I move on to the utility systems. When I get back to the office, I do a process diagram showing the milk and cheese throughout the dairy and the different temperatures. I also do an Excel tool showing the mass flow balance and an energy balance. This is a tool we use to locate energy efficiency potentials. You need to optimize the energy use in the production first before looking into optimization in the utility systems. This is the milk reception area. This is the first step of the production where milk is received from the local farmers. There's a huge potential for energy savings here with temperature control. A few degrees Celsius difference in cooling demands can result in a big difference in the energy usage. For example, if the cooling supply is a few degrees Celsius lower than required, this would increase the electricity consumption by 6% for the cooling compressors. After the milk is received, it is separated and pasteurized here. In Rolkesbro, the separation process has the advantage that the skimmed milk Leaving the separation is used to heat the raw milk, entering the plate heat exchanger. This is achieved by designing a heat exchanger with a number of regenerative zones, which together ensure that the product is heated and cooled in the most energy efficient way. At Arla, they work with heat supply at different temperature levels. A great part of the heating is done with hot water supplied from two different systems, at 90 and 112 degrees Celsius. Only when necessary is steam used for heating. After the separation, the standardized milk is preheated with energy from the water in the regenerative zone, then pasteurized using hot water at 90 degrees Celsius before going into the milk tanks behind you. We are now in the cheesery where the mozzarella is produced. To ensure energy efficiency, it is important that the motors and drives for pumps and fans are correctly dimensioned. If you look above you, you will see the insulated pipes in the ceiling. Insulation of these pipes and valves reduces the heat loss from the product and utility streams going across the dairy. The last step of the mozzarella production before it is shipped out is the packaging and storage. Here you can see the mozzarella being wrapped and packaged through several automated machines. And here the mozzarella are stocked and prepared for shipment by automated self-driving trucks. Now that we have seen how energy is saved in the production facilities, let's move on to the utility systems to see how energy is saved there. We are now in the energy utility building. Instead of relying on a traditional boiler, we supply steam for process heating in the production. Arla has divided the heating supply in different temperature levels. They have two hot water systems at 90 and 112 degrees Celsius respectively, and steam for a few processes. The heat pump in front of you delivers 2,600 kilowatt heat at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius and supplies at the same time 
1,800 kilowatts of cooling water to the processors. The heat pump has a coefficient performance of 5.2, which means that for each kilowatt hour of electricity, 3.1 kilowatt hours of heating and 2.1 kilowatt hours of cooling is produced. The white round dome by the trees is a biogas tank. The biogas is produced from the cow's manure at two nearby farms. The biogas supplies this engine at the Isla production site, which is then used to produce both electricity and heat for the mozzarella production. In front of you is one of the two hot water boilers here. They supply the 112 degrees Celsius system and each has been modified so that they can burn biogas in combination with natural gas. Surplus heat from the biogas engine and wastewater, which Isla cannot utilize in its own production, is then sent out to nearby Rokersbro, where the local district heating network utilizes the excess heat for space heating and hot water for the community. The result is that approximately 90% of the heating supply of the local district heating network is today fossil fuel free and only around 10% of the heating supply is supplied with natural gas. Arla Food, Rockersbro Dairy, has through multiple innovative solutions and technologies, not only achieved its goal of becoming one of the most energy efficient cheese producers in the world, but it has also created surplus value to the local community it is part of. Rockersbro below you might be a small city, but the collaboration between a large dairy processing factory and a city heating system is definitely ambitious. We hope this visit has inspired you to learn more and hopefully Denmark can be an inspiration to other countries looking towards using energy in the most efficient and sustainable way. Thank you for joining us today. Goodbye.